The next one is that even powers cannot be negative. You remember with the domain, even roots could not have a negative inside. And it's the same condition, it's just with powers, that even powers cannot be negative. So for example, x squared will always be a positive answer. So it will always be bigger or equal to zero. So if I have the function f of x is equal to x squared and I'm asked to find the domain or the range, I mean, if I'm asked to find the range, then I see, okay, well, I know that x squared and even power cannot be negative. So x squared will be positive or equal to zero, which means that y, that's the value, this can just be replaced with y, y will be bigger or equal to zero. My output will be bigger or equal to zero. Okay, and how are we going to write it? Let's just write it in the the normal set. But other than that, y can be any real number. y is bigger or equal to zero, but y is a real number. Okay, let's look at another example. Let's say I have fx is equal to x minus 2 squared plus 7. Okay, remember my even power must be bigger or equal to zero. So x minus 2 squared. This part, it doesn't matter what's inside of that. All I know that is that this bracket squared will always be bigger or equal to zero. It doesn't matter what's on the inside, it will always be bigger or equal to zero. It will be equal to zero if x, for example, is 2. Then it will be 2 minus 2 is 0. 0 squared is 0. For any other number, it would be bigger than 0 because it's being squared. Even if it's a negative number, it becomes positive after the square. But that's not what my output is. My output is not just this bracket. It also has a plus 7. So to, to do that, I know, okay, this part will always be bigger or equal to 0. So if I add a 7 on this side, I must also add a 7 on the other side. Now I have uh, my output, or the formula at least, so this part is the y part. That is what's going to give me my y answer, which means my y answer will always be bigger or equal to 0 plus 7. In other words, 7. y will be bigger or equal to 7. Let's do bracket notation. So y is an element of bigger or equal to 7. So that means if we have 7 here, it's bigger than 7, so it's in that direction. And 7 is also included because it's equal to. So we have a block letter, uh, sorry, a block um, bracket with 7. And bigger or equal to, and it never stops. Okay, so it's not limited. So it goes up to infinity, which we can never equal. So that is one way of expressing the range. Okay, and if we use this, it already assumes y is a real number. This is only a notation we use for real numbers. Okay. Now, let's look at another example that is a little bit more complicated. Imagine I have my fx and my fx is negative, um, well, negative 3. x minus 2 squared plus 1. Okay. Now remember, my power refers to my base and my exponent. If I talk about an even power, it this base and exponent, that is called a power. My base is the whole bracket, so I know that x minus 2, my power squared, must be bigger or equal to 0. It must be. It cannot be anything else. Okay, not in real numbers, anyways. Okay, that's not what I have though. I have that multiplied by negative three. So I must multiply both sides with a negative three. Now, very important when we multiply with a negative, the uh, inequality sign swaps around, which means if this is always positive, and I multiply it with a negative number, it will always be negative. So in other words, now negative 3 
x minus 2 squared will now always be smaller or equal to negative uh, 3 times 0 is 0. So this time it will now always be negative because this will always be positive. That's always going to be negative, which means the result will always be negative. And uh, it's still not finished. I have a plus 1 there. So negative 3 x minus 2 plus 1 on both sides 0 plus 1 on both sides now gives me that this is my y value that's the whole fx so my y value my output value will be less or equal to 1 and I like the, the bracket notation for these types okay so y is an element okay if I draw my graph 1 is included everything less than 1 y is less than or in equal to 1 so y is well we'll probably start at negative infinity and it will go all the way up to negative sorry not negative 1 positive 1 positive 1 because that's positive 1 would go up to positive 1 and positive 1 is included so we use a um, closed bracket to indicate the included